Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser. Geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Sasha soul in the building. She about to go night night. So check this out, man. I don't know what you're doing right now. You should be in bed getting ready to get you some rest. Hopefully you had a, a very decent day. Is there something on my face? Just making sure. I want to tell you this. So you got to understand. You are not who you, who you really think you are. Now, for all my subscribers that's been here, I have explained this to y'all multiple times. But sometimes you got to repeat certain things in order for you to pick yourself back up and get back to your shit. You need to hear it again. So you got to understand when I be telling y'all to connect with your higher self, you are not who you think you are. You have to understand this is not the real world, bro. When you finally really, really have your spiritual awakening and you start learning these things, bro, you start learning certain shit about this matrix. Yeah, but most importantly, you figure that's because you find out about the real world. You are not your thoughts. You are, the, you are the one that is observing everything, even your thoughts. You're the one that's watching your thoughts. You are the one that blink without you trying to blink. You blink on a regular basis. Who is that person that's blinking on a regular basis? You breathe on a regular. Even when you sleep, you breathe it. And then when you start paying attention to you trying to breathe, it's like you messing up the flow, huh? It's your ego. You are not your ego. Your ego was made in the matrix. Your ego and you are two different things. Your ego is not who you are. When you pass away, your soul leaves the body. That ego was never you in the first place. And you gonna understand that when you do pass away. You gonna understand that when you have your spiritual awakening. You gonna understand that when you learn how to meditate. It's a real world right in front of you. This is not the only fucking reality right now here, man. All these people have a psychedelic experience. As soon as you mean to tell me they do a fucking drug and they just start seeing different shit. You think that shit is fake? Why do you think they got that shit banned? But cigarettes is legal. The whole world is a joke. You are not who you think you are. Why do you think they got you creating this fake ass character on Instagram of yourself? Why do you think they give you likes? To satisfy your ego. It's a trap. Everything is set up so you can never connect with your higher self, who you truly are. That person that's observing everything on the regular. The person that never sleeps. When you dream, that's when your fucking higher self, your soul, that's when you start doing your thing. Your dreams is as real as this fucking reality is to you. You need to learn how to control your dreams. Start writing your dreams down. You need to start paying attention to how you feel and paying attention to yourself. You need to be fucking still. I know people tell you to get out here and chase your dreams. Yeah, that's third dimensional shit. You need to learn how to be still and focus on you. Because when you die, nigga, life going to keep going on on a regular without your ass. It's like you never exist. It's like you don't even matter. So what that mean? Don't nobody else give a fuck about you. Focus on yourself. This is how you need to start looking at life so you can really start learning how to love yourself. Motherfuckers really don't care about you. When you really, even if you become famous, nigga, they only love you for what you famous for. It's a trap. So you got to understand that you are not who you think you are. When you connect with who you really are, you already feel this unconditional love. You are connected with God. Why do you think they got all these different fucking religions? Religions is made for you to go outside yourself, to look at other people to save you. Ain't nobody going to save your ass. Ain't nobody going to waste time saving your ass. How many times do you think you've been back to this motherfucker? You've been back here over and over and over. Every time you die, you're going to bring your ass back here over and over and over and over again until you finally wake up and connect with your higher self. All that shit you think is lit is made to destroy you. They give you these likes to satisfy your ego. I just heard they was taking away likes. They gonna take them likes away. Y'all females, Instagram 
dead ass made y'all have self, low self-esteem now. It made y'all look for something. Like y'all, when them likes go away, you're not going to feel important no more. You're going to feel, bro, that shit is going to be stressful on y'all. And they did it to you. Because you addicted to the fucking app. Likes don't matter. Like YouTube, give me a million dislikes. I got a million views. I got paid for them million views. Likes never matter. It's just to satisfy your ego. It was created to make you feel like you above somebody. You ain't above nobody. You shit and pee just like me. It's fake ass money. Some shit that was created by these people. It's unlimited money. They make this shit. That shit ain't come from God. Like, oh, like White Kale Osiris said, that shit did not come from God. Real money is unconditional love. Real money is true happiness. You can have all the money in the world. If you're not happy, it's pointless. You got money for no reason. Gonna be buying all this material shit. What you gonna do with that shit when you die? You ain't buying no property. You ain't saving nobody life. You ain't helping nobody. You ain't your true self. You are not who you think you are. So everything that you see in this matrix is made to destroy you. Unless you're focusing on yourself, everything is a distraction. Everything is a distraction. Even me, I'm a distraction. You shouldn't even be watching me right now. You should be somewhere focusing on yourself, going within. The real world is within you. You need to learn that. You can go, bro. You go to church. Do what you want. I don't give a fuck what you do with your life. It ain't phasing me. I'm going to be straight. I'm not focused on you. I'm focused on myself. You're going to learn. A lot of y'all motherfuckers, y'all, you have to learn to be still. You got to learn how to be bored, bro. It's okay to be bored. If you conquer being bored, make something out of being bored, actually start, bro, you will become fucking immortal. You need to learn yourself, learn how to be bored, learn how to be alone. You never know what's going to happen in this crazy ass world. All that shit happening in California, they getting y'all ass up out of there with lasers. Lasers from space. They using lasers for the wildfires. You got to understand me when I tell you that. If you a bot and you watch TV and the news 24-7, use a robot. You program. You perfect for the Matrix. You're going to be back here when you die. You're going to keep coming back. They need you here. You're not ready to transcend. You're a multidimensional being. What do that mean? That means you are not this fucking, just this glob of fucking meat. You are way more than just this glob of meat. This is hell. This is the lowest form of ourself. Like I, like I always told my subscribers, we like bugs, bro, compared to who we truly are. We, we like nothing right now. We got all these superpowers we need to unlock. You got the superpowers within you. You can do anything you want. You can fly, my nigga. You got to start keeping your energy. Rise up, my nigga. Because that little shit you doing, y'all think y'all chasing y'all dreams, right? All you doing is getting further away from yourself. The more famous you become, the more distractions you have. It's a trap. If you have no peace within you, that's tough. Understand, life is a mimi. Life is a joke. Everything that we're doing, everything you see happening on the regular, it's a distraction, bro. Just focus on yourself. Eat healthy. Eat better. Pay attention to what you are eating. This is a matrix. Focus on yourself. Nobody else matters but you, bro. Even your family going to become a distraction because they not going to wake up. And if they do decide to wake up, it's because of you. Your impact did that. Don't force them to do anything. Don't force nobody to believe in shit. Focus on yourself. Keep your energy to yourself. Anyway, you are not your thoughts. You are not who you think you are. I keep coming back and keep telling y'all niggas this shit. You are way more than who you think you are. You're not just this motherfucker that wake up and go to sleep and go to work and do all this. You way more than that, bro. That's why they doing this shit to us. They keeping us down here. When you rise up, my nigga. Dewey's so in the building. Sasha so in the building. Her ass right there asleep on my workout bench. Anyway. Take care of yourself, man. This is just a late night video. Hopefully it motivate one of y'all. Well, a lot of y'all.
hopefully it motivates you to, to keep taking care of yourself. Keep coming who you truly are. Get closer to who you truly are. Connect with your higher self. Keep learning how to meditate. Learn how to be still. Relax. Chill. Real shit. Bro, you're not missing out on nothing. I promise. This is a matrix. It's always going to be something. It's always going to be new rappers. Every year. You never going to miss out on shit. Whatever happens is always going to be online. You never can miss out on anything. Promise. Focus on yourself. Pay attention to how you feel. Anyway, man, love y'all. Spiritual soul signing out, bro.